Hey everyone, Video Game Lover here, and I'm here to review Mortal Kombat, the new one that just came out. Um, yeah, I'm doing this in the backyard. I was going to do it inside, but I said, you know what, let's change it up. Let's do a movie review outdoors. Lokito's just chilling. He's just uh, uh, sharpening his swords because he's the only Musha Warrior. So anyways, what are my thoughts on the new Mortal Kombat film? Um, I've been seeing a lot of polarizing things about this film. There's a lot of people that really like this one, and there's a lot of people that really, really hated this film. So, in my opinion, I thought that the movie was just okay. I thought it had some good fight scenes, like Scorpion vs. Sub-Zero um, was great in the opening, uh, when Scorpion was Hanzo and Sub-Zero was behind. Um, the final fight between them was good. Um, I liked Kung Lao. I think Kung Lao was good in the film. Kano was very good. Um, and Cabal. I thought Cabal was amazing. I loved his costume in the, in the movie. He looked badass as hell. So there were some things I really liked about the film. Um, but there were some things I really, really didn't like about the film. So... Um, the first thing I really did not like, and this should not be a surprise to anyone, Cole. Cole was absolutely horrendous. I mean, he is one of the worst main characters I've seen in a while. I mean, his character was unlikable. He got his ass beat for most of the movie. Like at the end where he was getting his ass beat by Sub-Zero. And he had to have Scorpion fight with him. Like he couldn't fight by himself. And I'll get to that in just a sec. Cole was a weakling dude. And the only reason he was in this film was because he's like a bloodline to uh, Hanzo. To the Scorpion uh, family and all that. So Cole was just awful man. He was just terrible. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Sonya. I thought so. I mean, she did okay. Maybe I'm just too used to Bridget Wilson as Sonya, but I thought Sonya was just okay. Wasn't a big fan of Shane Song in this film and Raiden. I wasn't a big fan of those two uh, characters, honestly. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, Natara. I was so happy when I heard that Natara was in this film. I was like, oh, yes, Natara's in this film. She's finally going to make her appearance. And she makes her appearance, and she gets killed off in, like, in a 30-second fight with Kung Lao. That pretty much epitomizes her existence in the Mortal Kombat franchise. Um, and Raiko, Raiko, he was awful. <laughs> He was awful. Uh, that was awful. So, let me get to the fight I was going to talk about. Cole and Goro. Goro looked great. He looked really good in the film. There was just one problem. Cole beats Goro. Cole beats Goro. And the reason he was able to beat Goro was because of his wife and his kids. Like, his wife actually stabbed Goro. Because he was getting his ass beat the entire time. And his wife came in and stabs Goro. And then, he literally, like, literally, literally, he gets plot armor. And then he beats Goro. And his daughter tells him to uppercut. And then he wins the fight. Wow. Goro, I don't want to see you for a long ass time, man. I'm just keeping it real, man. I don't want to see you for a long time, man. Um, Jax was fine in the film. And who am I missing? I think I'm missing one more character in this film. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, Luke Kang. I feel bad for Luke Kang because he, he should have been the star of this film. But instead, it's uh, Cole. Cole was the star of this uh, film, so, man. Um, so, there were some good things about the film. Uh, the fatalities and the gore was fine. But, I don't know, man. Like, although I think it was an okay film, 
I just like the 95 film more. And the weird thing is, is it's not nostalgia. Maybe it is, but I don't think it's nostalgia. Because I, I came in with, like, very objective. I'm like, this film is most likely going to be way better than the 95 film. And I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of aspects, I think the 95 film is a little bit better. So, that's just how I feel. So, I mean, overall, I think it was an okay film. There were some good, there were some bad. Um, I want to address a little bit of some of the complaints that people have with this film. Like, someone, many people are saying, like, that there was no tournament in the film. It's a fair argument, but there's a thing you have to remember something. Um, a lot of Mortal Kombat games, they don't have tournaments. Um, a lot of them don't have tournaments. So, like, in Mortal Kombat 3, there was no tournament in that uh, Mortal Kombat game. So, uh, there's that. Another complaint I've been seeing is the story. I know that the story was a little bit weak, but a lot of people were saying, like, this is, like, the worst story they've ever seen in the film. I'm like, guys, come on, man. Come on, get real. Just get real. This is Mortal Kombat we're talking about. Mortal Kombat has always been over the top for its story. Let's be honest here. And then this is by far the most hilarious um, argument. There are idiots like Infinite Retro, which I'm not surprised because they have... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention Melina. Melina, she was fine. Uh, Melina was okay in the film. She was thick, though. Like, damn. But I've seen people actually go as far as saying that this film is worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Okay. Anyone that says that, I can't take you serious. Like... Worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm being honest. When you say stuff like that, I know you're just... I know you're not... You, you don't believe in this crap. You're just obviously being a grifter. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it real. There, I cannot take you serious if you think this film is worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I can't take you serious. I, I cannot take you serious. That is just beyond ridiculous. Beyond ridiculous. So... But yeah, that's my overall thoughts on the new Mortal Kombat film. It was an okay movie. I didn't think it was as terrible as many made it out to be. I don't think it's as great as many made it out to be. It's a, It was okay. I'm hoping the sequels will be better, but what can you do? So, I will say it is a disappointing film because we did kind of hype this up. So, But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. I do plan on reviewing uh, Godzilla vs. Kong soon since I haven't talked about that movie yet. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.